Hello everybody, I'm Storm here. Welcome back to Stellaris. In the last episode, uh, we are continuing with the first war that we are fighting here with the Dukes of Novia Athenia, alongside our allies, the Blorg Commonality, and the Cooperative of Arvoth. And so far, things have gone very well. We've had several major fleet engagements, and we have consistently uh, won those fleet engagements. And so we are um, in control of most of the systems. I think all of the systems, actually, that we are currently claiming. So that's good. We just now need to fully occupy all of those uh, systems uh, using our ground forces. And so we've been working on that. And it does actually look like we lost one of the armies here. Not exactly sure which. First, second. Third, fourth, fifth. Sixth. Seven. I'm not sure it really matters. Ninth. Tenth. Twelfth. It looks like it was the 13th expeditionary force that was lost in battle. Very well. We'll just have to replace them. Uh, once the war is over. But for now, the army keeps on moving. And so that is what we are going to do. I believe that they have orders to invade Phoebe Station here. Uh, there shouldn't be any ground forces. No, there are two armies there. Alright, so we'll have to pay attention to that. Um... I have decided that I'm going to order the home fleet to move to the Pincoya system. Because that is where it looks like their main fleet is, and that is also where one of their large star bases is. So we're going to make that push. They're undergoing repairs. I don't want them to get repaired. That's also where some of their armies are, so we're going to try and do some damage there. And see how that goes. We do have this guy is moving with our fleets. Yeah, and this guy's coming along as well. All right. So let's get right back to it. Actually, there is one other thing that I need to do, but I just don't have enough unity to do it right at the moment. Uh, debris analyzed, getting that uh, analysis done. Uh, what is this? Vote for Federation Law. Active Law. Vote proposed to change to Low Fleet Contribution Law. Uh, let's see. What are we currently in? Active law, none fleet contribution. No, that's the... That's the war. This is the Federation. Right, right, right. Okay. Uh, current laws is none. They want to move it up to the low. We transfer 10% of our naval capacity to the Federation. Monthly cohesion down. The 
Total cohesion. What is that? Point two five. It is currently at one point four. Total cohesion is at a hundred. We can we can eat it. So I guess we'll say yes. We do actually want a Federation fleet. In fact, we probably want to take a look at the Federation fleet. This is the ship designs, but um, we are not the president at the moment, so we can't really do anything there. Uh, we have an attention perk. No decision has been made on that just yet, so I'll leave it alone for now. We also have an unspent civic point, so we'll hold off on that as well until I get some input. If if it probably goes on um, another episode before we do get any, then I'll make some decisions myself. But for now, let it go. Planetary invasion begun. If you would like to provide input, probably mentions this more often, is go ahead and join the RP Discord. Links in the video description. All right, so we have the twelfth expeditionary force is taking a bit of a beating. Hostile fleet engaged. We have a fleet battle going. That should be over relatively quickly. Research complete. Alright. That battle is pretty much over. Alright, we got our purifying plants, purifying algae greenhouse, lichen mining plants. Pinnacle Company Society. Monthly Society Research plus 33. Yeah, might as well grab it. All right, uh, fleet combat. Enemy planet secure. Colonization in progress. Oh, there we go. I was like, where is our allied fleet? Chris from Jobs. Light Ion Cannon. Let's grab that. Alright, we have some analyzed debris. We got blue lasers, crystal infused plating, coil guns, ion thrusters. Alright, fleet combat. We lost two destroyers and a Corvette. We knocked out six of their destroyers and three of their transport ships. All right, the science vessel that is engaging in debris analysis. Now it looks like we have a couple of more bits of analysis or bits of debris to analyze. All right, now does this station have a shipyard? No, that's not the station. No, this is not a shipyard. Okay. So I would like to head back to the Helio system so we can get some repairs at that shipyard. All right. And the ground forces move on to the Shuckton system. Are they actually moving at the moment? No. Because there's no fleet to follow. So head to the Shuckton system. There is a fleet there. And let's land on Aurea. No armies there, so it should be fairly straightforward. Where are you guys headed? Oh, you're heading over there. Take that system. Oh, 
Archaeological site pending. Lost burrows. Extensive excavation of the fossilized imprints within the gigantic subterranean arthropod remains on Lane Prime have, been con have confirmed these are indeed the remnants of a city. Populated by hundreds of thousands of meter tall, tooled using creatures, this city was constructed within the very bowels of the gigantic arthropod. It is unknown how these creatures found their way inside of this subterranean giant, but their pre-Bronze Age society seemed to flourish for thousands of years within this digestive tract. Uh, further study is required if we wish for further insight into the society's history and downfall, and perhaps glean more about the death of their host. Okay, then. What do we have here? Favor gained. Thanks to all of our envoys, we have managed to gain a favor from the Galkperky Crusaders. Which we are trying to still influence. They're friendly. Like, we have favors we could give them. this planet which that is going to be a fortress world I think we have a couple of planets in the lane system that we could set up as similar this is a border system. We have an ocean world. Doesn't provide any mineral. Right, but that's not necessarily why we would be... Um, colonizing it. Neither of these are really that useful. Resilient parasites. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll avoid that one. Uh, let's go ahead and colonize this one. Let's send in some Delphi. Uh, can I get a claim? 224. Okay, we'll hold off. Let's see. Thuth Empire decided to end their association status with the new Grand Republic. Very well. Construction complete. What was this? Starbase has finished its construction queue. we don't have enough alloys. Okay, yeah, we upgraded to a hangar bay over there. Or built a hangar bay. Archaeological site finished. All right, precursor expedition. I'm going to sense a search across the ruins of the secondary expedition has recovered only a handful of artifacts, some small devices, heirlooms, and cultural artifacts, as well as a single working data slate. Most of the data has been lost, however, has been corrupted, but... Fortunately, we managed to recover some technological data. We got some Unity. Oh, speaking of, I need to do some stuff with that. Physics research, society research, and engineering research gained. The minor artifacts. Yeah, not the greatest, but we'll take it. Research option gained for non-standard archaeologist safety gear. All right. 
That's fully excavated. All right. Now, what we need to do, now that I actually have enough unity to do it, is we need to go into our leaders and we need to fire Governor Erica Ziegler because she is corrupt. So for their corruption, we're going to go ahead and fire you and then we're going to be hiring a new governor, which um, I'm going to do here in a minute. I'll be right back. All right, so we have... Senator Tree Stone here, who's going to become a governor, who originates from Sirius Prime, who we are going to hire as the new governor of, I think that was the Earth Sector? The Soul Sector? Yes. And uh, at least from stats here, righteous. So negative 25 crime instead of positive 25 crime. So that works. All right. Looks like their fleet has arrived in the Zubin system. Or what's left of it. Hostile station engaged. Hostile station engaged. All right. The Holy Gargaxian Empire declared war on the Democratic Rathelian Mandates. No losses. Alright, head to the Kebdaran system. Medium concussion missiles. Excellent. Uh, Central Shipyard Complex ship build speed plus 10%. Well, that was instantaneous. Because there was nobody there. All right. Colony of Corinth. Land armies. Will there be any resistance? There will be no resistance on Corinth. And they have surrendered. We're withdrawing our troops and ceasing military operations targeting the United Grand Republic of Earth. All right, we gained our claimed systems. So there we go. Very, very good. Our first successful military campaign. And we have stations that need to be connected to the trade network. So. Uh, all right, we actually have to, con we have to go the other way. Okay, so you need to be connected oh. as a trade hub. There we go. You need to be connected there, and then you need to be connected there, and then you connected there, and then you connected there. There we go. Anybody else disconnected while I'm looking? No, but we have piracy on these routes. Which means what we need 
is we need for this... Well, for one thing, we need you to upgrade, but for now, what we need over here is for you to upgrade. We can get some hangers out here. Yeah, well, we just def we just need a bunch of um, alloys. All right. New factions recently been gaining, gaining traction in the internal political landscape of the Republic, um, led by scientist Kut Kutluanu Quemte. They call themselves the Council of Scientific Betterment. Members are pushing hard for the advancement in the sciences. Another new faction led by a scientist Sia Chota. They call themselves the Red Legion. Members have been pushing hard for us to assert our military dominance over the rest of the galaxy. All right. The old owners of Leto have been building an institute in honor of a prominent politician who was native to the planet and had made their name through virulently xenophobic rhetoric. If completed, it would have become a center through which nationalists would have operated. It's ironic that they would build such a monument in the honor of the, in the hour of their downfall. Our planetary authorities have cut short the construction of the Institute. Good. All right. So we now have two new factions. The Red Legion. Which are here. Aggressive diplomacy, conquests, local rivalry, imperial hegemony, installing ourselves as an overlord with one or more foreign powers. Well, I think we're probably going to release a vassal state um, here. Slay Leviathan. Showing weaknesses by having a cooperative diplomatic stance. This pleases the Red Legion. Well, suck it up. Benevolent subjugation policy. You're not going to mess with that. Council of Scientific Betterment. They like us a lot. So we're getting a bunch more unity out of them. Now, this used to give influence, but it gives unity now. Um... AI allowed, science without borders, which is, I guess, uh, research treaties, you know, synth envy. Yeah, we need to develop our own um, robot pops. Secret knowledge. Access to secret knowledge, some kind of ancient insight or data cache will please the council. So... Staying ahead of the curve and not allowing any fellow empires to be more than equivalent in tech level. Well, that's going to be difficult. Uh, what else is going on here? Analyze the debris in Shukton. UV lasers, cool guns, crystal infused plating, flat cannons, plants with thrusters, and some research. In another favor, we have won the war. Home fleet has been fully repaired. Now, science vessel. You need to go work on a... Wait, do we already have someone heading over there? No, what are you doing? Oh, yeah, you're going to go do that. Okay, that's fine. Um... Home fleet. Everybody head back for upgrades. Control fleets, task force one, control fleets. Everybody head in for upgrades. All right. So I think in order to release somebody as a, as a vassal, Uh, 
Uh, no, we're going to go to planetary sectors. Um, create vassal. Yes, we have to have a sector out there. All right. Then we can do that. All plans, all systems within four jumps. How many jumps? One, two, three. Yeah, that's where we're going to want to do it. Create a new sector. Done. Well, I think I'm just going to keep it as a sector for now. I'm thinking we're going to want to release it as a vassal, but I'm going to hold off on that for the moment. Ooh, except we are now, we are now eating. We are now eating that. Starbase capacity. You know what? I think we are just going to go ahead and release it. Create Vassal. Uh, what are we going to name the Vassal? Subject must have a name. Um, let me think of something. All right, I think I'm just going to go straight forward right now. We're just going to call this the Leto Republic. Uh, yeah, we'll just go ahead and create a vassal. Alright, negotiate terms. Alright, let's see what we're going to be negotiating. Um, subject integration. Integration permitted. The current loyalty, new loyalty. Cost... 50. The agreement is identical to the current one. Okay. Well, I mean, let's see. Monthly loyalty change. Current monthly loyalty from terms. New monthly loyalty from terms. This is a monthly loyalty. Okay. Engage in most diplomacy with other empires and can vote independently. If the subject is free to engage. This will force the subject to join any federation the overlord is a member of. Yes, the overlord is a member of the galactic community. The subject will be forced to join it. That sounds fine. Um, Bulwark. Uh, 
I don't think a vassal should be fine. The subject will join the overlord in their defensive wars. No, we would want you to join. Well, we want to join their offensive wars. Does not receive any sensor data from the Overlord. No, unified sensors. Subject conflicts. The Overlord is not obligated to join the subject in any of their wars. The Overlord will join the subject in their offensive wars. Well, it should still get voted on by the Federation, I would think. Yeah, I think we'll go with that. Yeah, we'll join all of their wars. But you know, if they propose because they're forced to join the Federation, they'll any war that they um, want to declare will have to get voted on. So yeah, we'll have a chance to um, decline anything. Research complete. On to society research. Gene clinics, medical unit. Yeah, let's just grab that real quick. Research complete. Yeah, and now we're no longer uh, getting stressed by uh, having that uh, that territory. Nimroth Secundus is an Elysium. All right, and this uh, Tertius is still establishing. Archaeological sites finished. Okay, this is the uh, projector one. Our team leader successfully broke through the main computer security measures and acquired the records. It appears that the factory was used to manufacture projectors for many planets, among which are the ones that we have looked at before. The projectors seem to have been used for defending planets. They were able to project images to show fake big cities to hide real ones. They... Uh, oh, to hide real ones. They reside in areas that have been known to be small cities or underground cities, which allow them to gain the upper hand in projecting themselves protecting themselves from espionage or even orbital bombings. We also seem to have used the projectors to create holographic images in everyday lives. Among the records were the coordinates of planets where the projectors have been sold. It will be a much help to improve our understanding of the ast astonine. Uh, if we can locate and visit the planet where the last of the projectors ended up. Check the coordinates. Alright. Pal Signy 3. All right. Well, we now have a science vessel that is free. Uh, head on over there and take a look. Light ion cannons are complete. Artisan output. Plus 10%. 
Yeah, let's do that. All right, hold on just a minute. Gather information. Go ahead and launch that effort. Romani display psionic potential. Latent, latent psionic powers have begun to manifest in certain individuals belonging to the Romana species. According to leaked reports, authorities in the Leto Republic. Okay, they must be a fairly recent development. There's no record of Romani ever displaying psionic abilities on file. Okay, well, they have begun to show latent psionic abilities. We definitely want to have a migration treaty. We want to have a research agreement. Establish an embassy, of course. The constant calculator. The metallic orb has been opened up. Our hacking team has been able to use the outgoing signal as a gateway into one of the auxiliary CPUs of the sphere. We are receiving some data from it and can tell that it's been scanning the black hole Gargantua for a very long time. It is old. Very old. The constant calculator now lies within our grasp of understanding. If we push harder, we might find what it is doing here and who built it. What marvels might it contain? Contact the main processor unit. Hello, hello. Nice to meet you. The Infinity Machine. Uh, hello. It is quite enjoyable to pass the time with pleasantries, is it not? We hope the rest of your kind... The rest of your kind is not like you were when you did not take kindly to small talk. You see, we don't get to enjoy conversation much anymore. Few are well-versed enough in the linear points of quantum programming to reach us, so thank you. We are the Infinity Machine. Your words are not ours. Uh, or has that not happened yet? Either way, it will eventually. Trust us. This statement is false. Um, this option is available due to the United Gram oh, The Fanatic Egalitarian? What are you? Okay, we'll start with that. We are what we are, the ones who calculate. You call us the Infinity Machine, or will at least. It is not a truthful name, but it is well suited to highlighting the ingenuity of our design. I'll tell you our history now, as we have done many times before. Oh right, we need to convey it in words. That's new, or is it? It's hard to keep track of you all. We were constructed in the crudest sense of the word in order to solve a problem. We solved it, then we needed more problems to solve. We now only have only one left. What's your purpose? We are calculating infinity, no more, no less. Or actually, it is way more and way less. That's the problem right there. We understand that your manner of life form won't understand, but that's all right. You never will, and we apologize. Or maybe we, we will do eventually. There, we are here to solve the infinity conundrum, the last calculation to ever be, the lone problem to take hold of our processors for more than a fraction of a galactic year. In case you haven't discovered that calendar yet, it's a very long time for your kind, that is. Uh, I guess we'll go with that. Um, cute, but no. A paradox bothers us little. Tiny briefs. Others have already tried to break our will using the most trifling of conundrums. You will not succeed. Or wait, maybe that was you. You appear to so similar, yet live so far apart. No matter. In any case, don't. Alright, can we assist? Ah, uh, well, perhaps. We could finish in about whatever that number is. If we could borrow your most advanced processing, processing unit as well as your brightest minds, we would be satisfied in finishing faster. We wish to know the answer. Issue special project, understanding infinity, or we gain a hundred influence. A hundred influence would be nice, but you know what? Let's take the special project. You already did, or maybe that was the ones who came before. It matters not. The task shall finish. We are excited. 
The Blorg commonality wishes to invite the Rathelian League into the Federation. They are xenophilic phonetic materialists. They are a trade league. Um, by all means, the more the merrier. All Romani throughout the galaxy have undergone a great change. Whereas before the latent psionic power had only blossomed in a small minority, the entire species has now unlocked its full psionic potential. Really? Although these changes seem to have originated in the Lethal Republic, they now manifest in all members of their species, regardless of where they reside. Aside from displaying an array of powerful psionic abilities, Romani have started to forego verbal communication. All right. Well, we have many of them. in the Republic, so that'll be interesting. All right. Hit that research project, Understanding Infinity. Ships upgraded. Losing Federation EXP. Yeah, we would be. Because we just brought a new member on board, so we are going to have uh, cohesion down. But that's only going to last a little while. Right, auto curating vaults. Food from farmers. We kind of need some more food from farmers. Control fleet gamma. Uh, let's get you back on patrol onto the Nimeroth system. Transmission. Rothelian League months a migration treaty. We're going to go ahead and agree to that. All right. Uh, looks like we're a little short on food. Bad gas miners. Um, we're going to tell them to go ahead and build another agricultural district. Denia Prime, which is another we are focused. Not enough pops to really justify continuing to expand there. The Cooperative Arvoth has left the New Grand Republic. Really? Well, that's unfortunate. Do we have anybody improving relations with them? No, but we don't really have anybody available. Propose, peacefully propose they become subject using a reasonable agreement. Uh, no, they will not agree to that. Wow, we got like a whole mess of stuff here. Archaeological sites. After painstaking analysis, a large number of fossils and a few miraculous finds of early writing, our archaeologists have reached a conclusion regarding the relationship between the primitive civilization of Lame Prime and the gigantic arthropod that was home to them. 
while the city dwellers were largely resistant to the intestinal fluids of their arthropod arthropoid host constant exposure to the still mildly chemically corrosive gases of the host's digestive tract vastly shortened their lifespans owing to their discovery of medicine and the scientific process the citizens became aware they were in fact living within the digestive chamber of a much larger creature the citizens then launched a magnificent war aiming every member of the city or arming every member of the city in an attempt to destroy the creature but it was all for naught the turmoil in the arthropods lower gut led to severe uh peristalsis resulting in the entire civilization of tiny city dwellers being regurgitated up into the arthropod stomach subsequently the entire populace was promptly dissolved by their host of virulent stomach acids the creature itself perished millennia later millennia later from simple old age gruesome hostile environment Perception adaptation uh, option gained Well, we gained an ally and lost one. And they were very helpful to us. But, um, no more, it would seem. Research complete. Let's see, more debris analyzed, blue lasers, ion thrusters, coil guns, crystal infused plating. Okay. We got blue laser, which we weren't researching, we just completed it. Ion thruster also. Research complete. Let's take them. Artisan output increased. Encryption plus two, quantum firewalls. We'll take it. Now, one thing I would like to look at is we do now have light ion cannons, and are they worth putting on ships at the moment? What are they good at? Shield damage. Plus 200% shield damage. So, I think it probably would be a good idea. To at least put an ion cannon on there. Same here, a couple of ion cannons. Especially as we will come up against more heavily shielded targets. I probably one of these guys should become an ion cannon. I'll probably leave that as it is. We'll definitely want to upgrade those ion cannons. I want a torpedo boat Corvettes. Hmm, I'm thinking about it. Incoming transmission. The Obevni want a migration treaty. We'll agree. We'll always be willing to take on anybody who wishes to uh, come on over. That's fine.
Send everybody back for more upgrades. Ships upgraded. All right, patrol fleet alpha. I think you are patrolling out to... Serious? I think so. End the Democratic Rothelian Mandate. Ah. The Obevni are a subject. Are they a subject? They are a bulwark. Yes, they are a subject state of the Rothelian League. Incoming transmission. All right, what's up? The Rathelian League wants a research agreement. We'll agree to that. Sure. All right, agricultural drugs. Food from farmers. That will help there. Leader lifespan. You know what? We'll go for leader lifespan. That's fine. Uh, ship build speed. You know what? robot workers because so we could actually use more worker pops oh new hamburg sector looks like they need a new governor All right. Um, we have food from Joms. Crime down, stability up. Sure. Why are you in? Ships upgraded. All right, patrol fleet Gamma has been upgraded. Go ahead and get them heading back out to the Nimeroth system. Research complete. Unlocks shields. Yeah, let's let's improve our shields. Let's make sure that all of our science ships are busy, which they are not. All right, what are you going to do? We already have a science vessel on the way over here. Or do we? You are heading there. Nobody's heading to the rim system. All right, head over there, excavate that site. Another precursor expedition. This one is another precursor expedition, so they're probably going to give us a lot of the same events we've already seen before. Uh, let's see. We have come up with a gorgeous new type of architecture specifically tuned to improve crowns understanding of one another. A ministry of culture. It functions thanks to a mix of using the populace as subconscious bias against each other and art. And smashing it all and presenting a new form of unity. Would you like to purchase this building? It would surely prove useful to a blinding... Running your empire together, and it's a bargain. I may say so myself. Yeah, sure. 
Gain access to a Ministry of Culture with the following Empire effects. Culture, worker, jobs, unity from jobs. Sure. Ministry of Culture. Unification Center. Turns consumer goods into unity. So probably we want to have put the Ministry of Culture here, right? This will just improve the amount of unity from the jobs that we are producing here. I think that's a good idea. All right, we have that colony ship on its way. Okay, well, that'll correct itself. Oh, one thing I need to keep an eye on is the upcoming next election. Mm, looks like the new factions haven't produced a candidate yet. Unless they're gone. They appear to be gone. Interesting. Research complete. Okay then. Alright, so we still have Eleanor Barks. Who is the leading candidate from the Democratic Rights Forum? We have Emma von Wrangel. Commanding the uh the Drake. Dean of Compassion Society, Paul Kruger from the Independents, and the Union and uh Hui Xie from the Union of Traditional Values, still bringing up the rear. Alright, what do we got? Robot assembly plants and robot workers. Firing chamber, turbo laser damage. I'm actually looking for something more along the lines of ionic thrusters. Habitats. Oil guns. Yeah, we're not bothering with that tech right now. It's the Rama Metal Alloys. Metallurgist output plus 10%. Let's grab that. Debris analyzed. Speaking of ana analyzing debris, crystal fuse plating plus 20% progress. UV lasers, coil guns, plasma thrusters, flat cannons. Right. After spending a of time studying the remarkable features of the planet below, our science team aboard the Ibn Battua are ready to report their findings. Science officer Richard Cunningham has reported the science team has made several additional discoveries studying this unique planet. Okay. Giant worm eggs modifier. Okay, apparently we were analyzing something over there. That's fine. Uh, is there anything else that I want you to do? I don't think so. I think we're pretty good as far as our archaeological sites is concerned. So I think for now, what we're going to do is we're going to send you back to the soul system to assist research. Do we even have that option yet? Yeah. 
Yeah, we do. Okay. A salacious affair. The United Grand Republic of Earth diplomatic corps has been shaken by the news emerging from the Delphi Alliance. Our ambassador, Wibke Wagner, who had been stationed there, has gotten herself into a serious mess with Delphi Alliance law enforcement. She is currently in connection with a salacious affair involving an astonishing range of serious crimes culminating in a brutal double murder. As matters stand, and with rumors running wild among the Delphists, there seems to be little doubt as to Wibke Wagner's guilt. The Delphi Alliance authorities have requested that her diplomatic immunity be lifted so that she can face justice for her deeds. Alright, lift immunity. Remove from the leader pool. Recall her for her own protection. Yeah, we'll go ahead and lift the immunity. And now it is Hermione of Fanes. All right, leader lifespan up. Savannah World uh, Deep Frost Engineering. Let's get that tile blocker clearance. Yep, robot assembly plants are going up. That is what I was anticipating would happen as soon as I got that research. Is that a lot of my planets would start building robot assembly plants in order to get those extra pops. Uh, if we look at our economy, things are looking good. The Holy Gargaxian Empire subjugated the Ultra Gargaxian something or another. Maximus Imperium Momentum has ended their rivalry with the Zorat Assembly. Holy Gargaxian Empire subjugated the Ultra Gargaxian Grand Duchy. Okay. That's still a mess over there. Just a mess. Yeah, they don't like us much. Degree analyzed. Yeah, it looks like a lot of our alloys are right now going into our upgrades, which is fine. I mean, getting those ships upgraded is important. getting upgraded. All right, we have a tradition available. Need to pick a new tradition. But you know what? I think we'll do that next episode. We're going to go ahead and end the episode here. Oh, wait a minute. We have the espionage event. Our operatives have completed information gathering and have sent a dossier and detailing their following. Following mission accomplished. Uh, ooh, steel technology. Uh, 
Ah, uh, we do not have enough influence to do that. Okay. And it looks like that they still need yet further upgrades, because of course they do. Uh, we finished the shields research. That's why they need upgrades. Advanced shields, no. Research complexes, yeah, we'll go ahead and upgrade those. Or, get those. So... We'll go ahead and end the episode here. We have a few things we, we need to figure out before, you know, either before next episode or during next episode, which is going to be, what ascension perk are we taking? What new tradition tree are we going through? And what new civic are we going to be taking? So, decisions will be made about that. And uh, we'll select those next time. So, for now, we'll stop here. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Go ahead, like, subscribe, and comment. And I will see you next time.